as I thought today I would take it back to one of my favourite subjects which is skincare. You guys know I go a bit crazy for the stuff and I did a skincare routine last year sometime, I think it was around November time and some things have changed, some things have stayed the same and I thought I would break it down into a morning skincare routine video and then an evening skincare routine video because otherwise it's going to be like 20 minutes long, I have a feeling my last one was around the 20, yeah, 20, 25 minutes, it was, it was an extremely long video but I thought I'd just help, try and hold your attention for more like 10 minutes this time and just take you through what I do when I wake up in the morning looking a bit gross and grey and cranky and this is just what I do every morning whether I'm going to wear makeup or not wear makeup, there's a few little tweaks that I sort of change depending on that but a quick heads up before we continue, my skin is quite normalish, it has the odd dry patch kind of round my eyes and my eyebrows I get a bit dry and the odd greasy patch I get kind of more of a greasy t-zone, I get the odd blemish here and there but on the whole it's quite well behaved, back in the day it didn't used to be so well behaved, it used to be very greasy and it used to be very sensitive as well and it still does go quite red when I'm doing my routine but it settles much quicker than it used to, I used to have to wear such a high coverage foundation because my skin would just be like ridiculously red even if I just put like splash my face with water in the morning, it would just be like, woo, red shining beacon. But I've spoken about that more in my other skincare routine videos, and I've done quite a few since I've been on YouTube, so I'll link them all up below if you want to know the whole story. But for today, I'm going to get started, and you can probably guess what the first product that I use in the morning is, because I've been going on about this, this cleanser for a long, long time. It's probably been about a year that I've been in love with this for, and I'm on my second tub of the stuff, and it's the... Emma Hardy Amazing Face Natural Lift and Sculpt Marine Cleansing Balm. I use this in the morning to cleanse and I use it in the evening as well. I just think it is such a nice product. It smells nice, it feels amazing on the skin, and when you wash it off, your skin is nourished but clean at the same time. It's like the best of both. And I just take around a pea sized amount of this, warm it up in between my hands, and then massage it all into my skin. And I really like quite go to town with it. I like to work it in. I like to work mainly in up movements because I don't want to really drag the face down. You want to keep everything going upwards. Um, Emma Hardy has her own little facial that she suggests doing um, with that product. I'll link the video up to that below generally can't be asked to do that every morning, more in the evening, but I will um, yeah, link that up below. But once I've massaged it in, I then just take one of the muslin cloths, and I've got the Emma Hardy ones actually as well, I purchased these from Space NK a few months ago now, and I've actually been back and picked up another pack, because I think they're really, really nice. On one side they've got more of a flannel texture, and on the other side it's more of a muslin if you need a bit more exfoliation. So I just run that under some warmish water, not too hot, nothing to aggravate the skin, and then just massage it off. And that is probably the nicest feeling bit of my skincare routine, morning and evening. And the fact you're using water and everything, it just really refreshes your skin in the morning, and I definitely feel a little less groggy after that step. So then I go back and just um, rinse the cloth in cold water and just press that on my face, and that's cleansing done. And then I move on to toner and quite annoyingly the thing that I'm using at the moment isn't available in the UK. I picked this up when I went to Paris a few weeks ago and it's the La Roche-Posay Zero Zinc. Um, this is a Caroline Hirons influenced purchase. She spoke about this on her blog and said it was really nice. It's a zinc sulfate solution. Yeah. Sulfate is known for its sort of mattifying properties and it's very astringent and just cleans everything up really nice. It's quite a balancing step, especially if you have quite oily skin, this would be a good one for you. It's very soothing and the blurb on the back says you can use it for razor burn and even nappy rash of all things. So if you have quite oily-ish skin and you ever see this, I do recommend picking it. Then I move on to serum and for that I've been using the Hydroluron. I actually just picked up my second tube of this the other day and I just think it's a really nice serum for if you've got quite dehydrated skin, which I do have and I'm noticing more and more around here, like around my eyes, it's just getting a bit dry and I know I need to drink more water and all that kind of stuff which definitely helps make your skin look better, I do find that. But this basically contains a shed load of hyaluronic acid which is a molecule that's present in your skin naturally but as you age it just decreases and it's a molecule that really helps your skin to hold water so it's all to do with water retention and this has that in. So it works as almost a glue and whatever you apply afterwards it will help it to really adhere to the skin and keep your skin as moisturised as it possibly can. So I take about a pea sized amount of that and just massage that all over my skin, focusing on areas of dryness. 
Then this is where I mix it up a little bit. If I'm having a no makeup day, I'm out and about and I just don't particularly want to wear any makeup or I'm just doing stuff at home, I will add an oil into my routine. I find that if I'm wearing makeup, putting an oil on in the morning anyway, doesn't really help the makeup to stay on my skin that long. I find that it breaks down quite quickly and so I tend to just reserve oils for no makeup days. And for that I've been using the Pi Rose Hip Bio Regenerate Fruit and Seed Oil Blend and Vitamin E. And this is a lovely, lovely oil. I've been trying to use more natural oils that don't have any nasties in. And the problem with them is they stink. They smell really strange and funky. And this one smells really strange and funky too. But it basically doesn't have any crap in it. So it's really good for your skin. So I just take around three drops of that. Again, warm it in between my hands and then just press it onto my face. But that's only for non-makeup days. But if I am wearing makeup, then I will skip that step and just go straight onto moisturiser. And this, this is a step that I'm not like 100% happy with. I sort of feel like there's probably something better out there. But for the meantime, I've been using the Origins Make a Difference Plus. As with all Origins products, it smells incredible and it's really moisturising on the skin. So I just take around, again, around a pea-sized amount in between the hands and then massage it into the skin. And I find that it leaves my skin feeling really moisturised but not feeling overly greasy. So it's a good one if you've got quite normal skin because it moisturises and hydrates but without feeling heavy at all on the skin. But like I said, I reckon there's probably something better out there. I'm in the market for a daytime moisturiser that has an SPF in it as well so I don't have to apply an SPF later. And I'm really tempted by the Murad, I think it's called Vitamin C... SPF 30 or something. Sandra, who I adore, TT Sandra on YouTube, I'll link up her channel below, spoke about it and she has quite normal, kind of slightly oily skin and I find that um, SPFs can sometimes feel quite heavy. And she says that one doesn't at all. It's really expensive, but I'm very tempted to pick it up. I think it has 10% off, but feel unique at the moment. So I'll keep you updated on that one. Then I move on to eyes and during the daytime I use something quite light around the eyes because you know I'm wearing like concealer and that kind of thing so I don't want it to be too like interfering with the makeup so I go for Clinique Even Better Eyes Dark Circle Corrector which is almost like a makeup skincare item in one. It's a bit like Origins Vitazing but for under the eyes. It's a peachy tinted eye cream and it's in one of those packages that has the metal ball at the end so it feels amazing when you put it on and I just blob a tiny bit under each of the eyes and then blend it in with the metal tip and it just feels so soothing in the morning and I, it's a step I really look forward to actually. Oh, it does feel so, <laughs> feels nice even just on the back of my hand um, but this is nice because it's very light under the eyes and it also does a good job of correcting or like beginning to correct my dark circles which I sort out later on with the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer which I adore. Then as a final step and this is something I'm really trying to get into at the moment is to apply an SPF every day like no matter what I'm doing if you're in, out, shake it all about whatever I just always try to apply an SPF and this is why I'm looking for a moisturiser that has it in as well because I just think then I really can't forget but for the moment I've been using the Shanskai Ultra Sun Protection SPF 50 PA++++ which I bought for holiday last year and I think they only last around yeah, 12 months so I'm just trying to use it. It's up. supposed to be a primer and an SPF in one and considering it's SPF 50 it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. It's very silicon based so if you don't like that feeling you're not really going to like this but it leaves your skin nice and smooth and protected which I like but it's extremely expensive. I sort of went a bit wild when I purchased this last year and there's definitely cheaper ones out there on the market that do exactly the same thing. In fact when I went to America last year the Neutrogena range in the US drugstores is incredible and they have this like oil free dry, I can't remember what it's called but I bought so much of their stuff and used it all while I was on holiday. So if you can get your hands on that, that's a much cheaper alternative. But like I said, it's a step that I'm kind of experimenting with, so if I find anything better, I'll be sure to let you know. But that is it. That is my morning skincare routine. I'll be sure to do an evening skincare routine in the next few videos. But I hope you like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.